Hi guys and welcome to another coloring video and today's coloring video is of a narwhal which is nature's very own unicorn and they are so adorable. This specific narwhal comes from the Polar Pal stamp set. I'm going through all of the stamps, coloring them up because they are fun. Um, for my normal, I have chosen to continue on with the same coloring scheme that I've been doing all through this challenge. We're on day 20, so you're starting to see the theme, right? Uh, we're, uh, I'm coloring up it with N, the N grays. I'm starting with the N4. Now, you have seen me doing the shading in, in basically two different ways. I either have started with the lightest color and kind of just um, blocked out where I want my shadows to be. And then I have gone in with the darkest to lightest. Today I'm just went in with the darkest color directly. There is actually a thing that will happen when you do this. Um, if you go in with the lightest color and you block in your shadows, that will mean that you will have wet the paper at those uh, areas with your dark with your lighter color so when you go in with the darker color it will kind of smooth into the paper a little bit better uh, when you're doing it directly from dark as i did here it will kind of lay higher up on the cardstock because it doesn't have that uh, alcohol underneath to uh, make it seep in and therefore you will actually be get a harder blend that way. You can see that uh, very much on the tail of my little uh, cutie here. The way to fix it, if you want to fix it, is to just do a second layer um, or do as I do most of the time and that is just going in with the your lightest color and block out the shadows. It will help you to get your blending a little bit easier. But yeah, uh, I kind of left it as it is and I went in or going in with my pinks here. The pinks I'm using are the RV20s. This was my absolute favorite color combination back in like, I think 2013, everything was it. RV20s. So right now I am back on one of those RV20 uh, kind of uh, yeah times. I'm playing with it again. The RV20s, um, the 25 is actually quite a lot darker than the 23. Uh, so I do recommend doing the double layer, uh, which I've been talking all through uh, this kind of coloring uh, challenge to because if you do the double layer you will get an easier blend uh, than when you just do one layer which I did here and that was basically the coloring but I couldn't just let anything go it's it is nature's unicorn so he has to sparkle or she or it I don't know uh, sparkles were necessary so i'm going in with a uh, with a couple of different gel pens the darker one is a jelly roll and the lighter one is an uh, um, speaker which is the copix version of glitter pens and i'm doing dots i'm doing uh, where i've used the rv25 i'm going in with the dark gel pen which is a metallic pen which dries a little bit lighter than it goes on and then I'm going in with the light pink and just add it everywhere else so that I have about the same amount of dots everywhere. Um, to finish it off, I'm going in with a glitter white, white gel pen, an opaque white gel pen. Um, and I'm adding uh, where the color was lightest, I'm adding a lot of them. And where it's darker, I'm adding just a little bit of a few. And to make it look like they're sparkle, I'm making these four prong stars uh, to kind of give it the look like it's getting those um, th that sparkling effect. And that is the uh, coloring for today. I hope you liked it. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Down below you find all the details and links to all of the supplies, also to my blog. 
Uh, if you want to see more videos like this and haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!